what's up uh, so today's video is no fishing sorry about that um, it's mainly just to answer some of the questions that I've been getting uh, regarding my solo skiff uh, I, have, I have a lot of questions of people asking me how I rigged it up how did I do this how's the cooler being held down the seat what kind of seat I'm using so I'm just gonna go over my skiff really quick I'm gonna try to make it a quick little video because I understand that you got work to do on your solo skiff so just enjoy the video um, We'll see how you like what I did. So the first thing I'm gonna cover is how I got the cooler up here. Um, the reason why I got the cooler is because if I wanna carry drinks or anything, uh, food or whatever the case is, if I'm gonna be out there all day, I did not want to put the fish that die on my stringer and my drinks in the same ice. So I decided that I should carry a cooler. I didn't wanna be carrying a bag. That I have to hold somewhere there on top of the skip so that's why I got this baby right here um, it's actually a Magellan 25 quart uh, ice chest it holds ice pretty well um, it's not designed to hold it for two three four five days but it does the job when you're out there all day on the skip um, I bought this one at Academy it was like a hundred bucks it's affordable um, really close color tone to the solo skiff the seafoam green color so i really do like it. it's very sturdy the reason why i got it was because i wanted it something that i could possibly stand on i have not tried standing on this just yet but i definitely do sit on the front of the skiff and just kind of side cast from up here whenever uh i get bored from just sitting back there in the skiff so it's pretty good use for that i do recommend that so let me go ahead and show you how i mounted it i'm gonna actually take it off and then put it back together or put it on the skiff, uh, that way you all can see how simple it is. So the skiff is being held, okay, by four pad eyes, two on each side. There's two there, there's two there, and four Velcro straps, okay. These are Velcro straps that I ordered on Amazon. Okay, I got like a pack of 24, different sizes, okay. Velcro is, believe it or not, actually very strong. I actually tested this by hanging some really heavy dumbbells on them and it did the job. So that's why I decided, hey, if it can hold that much weight, it can definitely hold a 20 pound cooler. So, just so you saw, it's real simple. I run it through here, okay, each one on each hole, hold it down, easy to take off. Same thing on this side, nothing different. I try to run them all on the same side. Okay, it's just a Velcro strap. Okay, if I wanna go ahead and take this off, all I gotta do is literally just pick it up. Okay, let me set this down right here. Ta-da! Magic, simple. As you can see, there's no holes. Everything's still original solo skiff. The only thing that's been added are these pad eyes right there, two on each side. Okay, it's actually rivet pad eyes. So I use it with the rivet gun. Two there, two there, and that's all I need. On the bottom, I know you saw there was some kind of mat. Okay, it is actually okay a non-slip mat that you do use for dishes for the kitchen. Um, I saw it and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna give this a try. It works really, really good. Okay, for anything that you're gonna mount on the solo skiff, if you don't want to scratch it up, this thing is awesome, especially when it gets wet. It's still really, really good. So I use this, I put a piece on it on the bottom. Uh, I don't want to peel it off, it's kind of just stuck there already. Uh, but I definitely use this on the ice chest, that way it does not slide when I'm driving when, or when I'm on the water. Okay, I do leave it on there when I drive to wherever I'm going, usually to Port Mansfield, which is about an hour away, uh, going 70, 75 miles. Okay, does not budge at all. Never had an issue with it. So uh, that's how I mounted the cooler okay like i said very simple four pad eyes okay four velcro straps and just just the ice chest so uh i'm gonna go ahead and put this ice back on okay as you can see 
here's my velcro strap going through the pad eye okay all i'm going to do is run it through this little hole that the isis has put it through the plastic that it has i like putting the plastic at the bottom and there's no really reason for it i just like keeping it that way keep pulling nice and tight run the velcro in okay that's one side um i think it could do with one but why not be sure and just put two uh only because you might put like 10 pound bag of ice some gatorade some water okay and it gets kind of heavy so you just kind of want to have it reinforced that's why i put two as you can tell solid i can actually move my whole skiff with this um uh, and that's it the cooler was very very easy like i said uh if this is something you like go for it uh, the next thing that I also have, uh, as far as rod holders, um, I know you see in my videos, my rods are pointing upwards. Um, I have these, uh, I believe they're Royal Blazer, um, regular Yak uh, rod holders. The reason why I chose these is because they give me the flexibility to make sure that I have whatever angle tilt I need. Um, also, the rotation, it's not an issue. I can turn them out this way, that way. Uh, it just depends. Uh, if I were dead sticking or bottom fishing, uh, I can set two of them up, one facing out. Uh, I, really, I really haven't tried that, um, but they seem sturdy. Uh, definitely pretty good. I, I think they've done the job. I've dropped them several times, nothing's happened to them. So as far as taking them out, it has a really easy lag lock latch um, so that's why i decided to go with these i didn't have to just put in their lock tied in and you're good to go um that's about it when it comes to rod holders uh the next thing is the seat i do get a lot of questions about my seat um it really is just a regular stadium seat heavy duty stadium seat from academy uh, as you can tell uh no they don't sponsor me i just ended up buying that seat there I actually ended up having it there from when I go to football games or basketball games. And I was like, you know what? I need to find a seat that fits perfect on the solo. Now, this one fits perfectly on top. Okay, perfectly. So, as you can tell, you can move it up, you can move it back. The reason why I haven't moved out to the back is because I use these little bags, uh, regular pencil pouch bags. You can buy at Walmart for like a dollar to kind of hold all my lures in place. Uh, as you can tell, I've got some new stuff that I'm gonna be using next time. Uh, the swimming mullet. I got some shrimps, different baggies of different gold. Lots of different things. You can fit tons of stuff into this and it's great. Um, got a little sidetrack there. Going back to the seat. The seat is being held down by a strap no holes nothing drilled down okay you can remove the seat if you want okay all you got to do is remove that uh the strap basically um it won't move it's sturdy okay it's probably one of the better ideas i've had of my solo i have everything on my seat i have all these baggies zip tied i have my fish grips there I have some rod holders that I didn't want to drill onto my skiff, so I drilled onto the seat. It's a $40 seat. I'd rather drill on a $40 seat than a $2,000 solo. My, just my opinion. I also put this little noodle here. Okay, it's, I keep some of the stuff that I constantly throw out in case I need to switch out really quick. Um, they don't get in your way. So that's just a tip uh, as far as if you wanted to do that, you don't have to do that. Uh, but the seat is a real, real game changer. You'll get tired after a while. You want to lean back. Your back hurts, especially when you're driving or maneuvering your solo skiff. The seat is a big game changer, huge game changer. And like I said, uh, it fits perfect on there. You don't have to drill any holes. Just secure it down and you're good to go. I do recommend that you secure it down. Do not go or do not use it without securing it or else you might slide off and who knows what can happen.
but that's all it is guys um, here are the other rod holders uh, as you can tell more velcro straps that one's for my new fish pliers that I just bought lost my other ones uh, this one I use okay to hold on to the motor to kind of lock it down in place so when I'm driving I don't have to worry about that tilting sideways or not so I kind of just velcro strap that there and that secures my motor in place and again all that is attached to the seat okay this seat has been very useful to me um, you can put all these little baggies just by zip tying them you can take them off it's it's really awesome um, now aside from the rod holders the pad eyes and hmm, I can't think of any other holes that I did besides the paddle clip here again you see the velcro strap I just secure it just to make sure that when I'm driving I don't lose my paddle or something like that but there's not any holes on my skips uh, even my transom support back here okay it's not drilled uh, it's actually has 3m tape you can kind of see it there I bought some heavy-duty 3m tape that's like 40 pound has 40 pound test on it and I backed all this cutting board cut it to the size and I put it on my transom um, the reason why I did that is because I didn't want to get it all scratched up or all loosened up and all the scratches that it leaves because you're tightening it up and let me tell you it's worked great that's 3m double-sided tape and the reason why i did that is i got the idea from one of my buddies that he used to work on cars and he told me that a lot of cars paneling and stuff like that it's all it is is 3m tape so so far so good it is great um in the back i kind of have that non-slip grip just so it doesn't scratch it up and it keeps the motor in place pretty good so my skiff is in pretty good shape As you can see, my gas tank is there. Um, again, non-slip, uh, just so it doesn't slide around. Um, there is another hole, or not a hole, but a drill that I did. And it was just to hold this down. This is Velcro, again, just holding my gas tank. No, uh, it's on the inside, whoops. Okay, up here, this is probably the other only hole that i have on my skip it's just a i just drilled a bolt there just to hold that to hold my gasoline tank so it doesn't slide side to side um down here i don't really have much stuff it's just the stuff that i take uh, some lures whatever i need uh nothing real big on that uh the last thing i've had a couple questions where did i buy my trailer uh, my trailer was actually did not look at like that at all if i can find some of the original pictures of how i had it uh, i'll definitely upload them uh, i kind of worked on it a bit uh, kind of sanded it down grinded some stuff down and kind of just made it fit the solo uh, as you can tell put the custom texas solo living hashtag on there uh, put some four by four bunk boards there you got your red trial great state of texas um and i kind of just did it on my own I worked on it okay i know i got another text mark over there and i really like the way it came out it matches the solo skiff gives it a unique look uh tires are tiny i still need some more work to do to the trailer but right now it does the job as you can tell it gets me out there brings me back safe it's amazing so yeah that's basically how i rigged up my solo skiff uh if you have any other questions you want to see something more detailed just let me know uh put a comment uh i'll get back to you as quickly as possible i'm hoping to hit the water out on monday so hopefully a new video coming up soon but like i said i hope you enjoyed uh, seeing how I rigged up my solo skiff, um, man, it's just awesome being out there in the skiff. There's nothing that compares to it, just being so close to the water and being moving at those speeds. And I highly recommend that 
if you are looking into a solo skiff or want a solo skiff or you have a kayak and you're planning to go get on a solo skiff is to check one out check one out so check somebody maneuvering it near water around you or go get a test drive yourself because it's awesome it, it really is awesome so again thanks for watching uh hope you like the video peace out